Dear students, in this video, we will see what is a unit ramp signal and its properties. It is denoted by R of T, small r of T. This R of T is equal to T for T greater than or equal to 0. Okay, that means for all the positive values and 0 value of T, it has a value equal to small t. And if T value is less than 0, then we have 0 value. And similarly, for the discrete time sequence, R of n equal to n for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0. These are the two formulas for unit RAM signal and unit RAM sequence. Okay, now let us see the graph. So, for unit RAM signal, we will consider a continuous time graph. Here, you can see that for t less than 0, we have 0 value and this is t. Here, we have r of t and for less than values we have 0 okay in this side we will have 0 value and for 0 it will be 0 because t is equal to 0 now okay for t equal to 0 r of t will be 0 so here we will have this value suppose t equal to 1 then what will be the r of t value it will be also 1 so for this 1 value suppose it will have a 1 value here okay so this point so if it is 0.5 then it will be 0.5 okay in this way it will go on increasing now if we connect these points to make a continuous time signal it will be like this so this is a straight line so what will be the angle so if we consider this triangle okay right angle triangle so what will be the value of theta theta is equal to 10 inverse of so this value is 2 and this value is again 2 so 2 by 2 y by x 10 inverse of 1 okay then inverse of 1 is 45 degree so this ramp signal has a angle of 45 degree with both the axes similarly we can draw for the discrete time sequence that is this is unit ram sequence now this is a discrete time signal so we'll have here similar type of graph so this will be n and here we'll have r of n so what we'll have when it is 0, we'll have 0 value. When it is suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and so on. 1, 2, 3, and so on. So when it is 1, what will be the value of R of n? It will be 1, okay? So this will be the point. Next, when it is 2, what will be the value? Then it will be again 2. And when it is 3, it will be 3 and so on. Okay, it will go up to infinity. So this is a unit RAM sequence. When n is equal to 0, we have this 0 value. Now let us see the properties. First of all, let us understand what is the relation between unit step signal and unit RAM signal. So we know that signal u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 so i have considered here equal to because for problem solving cases we consider this equal to 0 but unit step signal has a undefined value at t equal to 0 okay but we have considered here u of t equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and for t less than 0 we have 0 value that means for the positive values of t we have 1 value and for the negative values of t we have 0 value now if we integrate this unit step signal from minus infinity to infinity what we'll have integration minus infinity to infinity u of t dt we can rewrite this signal as minus infinity to 0 u of t dt plus 0 to infinity u of t dt just i am breaking in the negative half and positive half okay for simplicity now we know that u of t has a zero value for t less than zero u of t has zero value for t less than zero so here we'll have minus infinity to zero so zero of dt plus and from 0 to infinity, what will be the value? It is value is 1. So from 0 to infinity, we have 1 dt. So we have got this. Now, this 0 means it will be 0 plus integration 1 dt means it is t. So it is equal to t. 
so this t we can rewrite it as r of t integration of u of t dt is equal to r of t so this is the relation between unit step signal and unit ramp signal so this is the relation or this is the property number one now if we write in reverse order so what will have d dt of r of t is equal to u of t that is differentiation of unit ramp signal is a unit step signal now let us go to our second property power signal or energy signal whether a ramp signal is a power signal or energy signal so in our previous video we have seen that for power signal it the power should be finite and energy should be infinite and for a signal to be energy signal energy should be finite and power should be zero so these are the two conditions if we get energy is equal to infinite and power is finite then this ramp signal will be a power signal if energy is finite and power is equal to zero then this unit ramp signal will be a energy signal so we have to find out the energy and power of this unit ramp signal so so power we express in terms of average power okay so what is the formula limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t integration minus t2 plus t mod of r of t dt because we have this r of t signal here now so we can rewrite this signal as limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t and we can break this into positive and negative half similar to the previous cases so minus t to 0 r of t dt plus integration 0 to t mod of r of t dt dt so limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t so integration minus t to 0 so here we'll have 0 dt t square dt from here we'll have limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t so this value is 0 so what we'll have here this is t square t square will be t to the power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 so t cube by 3 and limit is from 0 to t limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t so this t we have to replace now with capital t okay and for 0 this term will be 0 so here we'll have to multiply with t cube by 3 so 1 t and 1 t from here it will be cancelled so here we'll have limit t tends to infinity t square by 6 2 into 3 it will be 6 so limit t tends to infinity t square by 6 so t is infinity so infinity square is equal to infinity okay so infinity divided by 6 it will be infinity so we have average power is equal to infinity so we have seen that power is infinite now we have to see for the energy so what is the formula for energy energy equal to integration minus infinity to infinity mod of r of t here's the signal is r of t whole square dt similar to the previous cases integration minus infinity to zero r of t square r of t square what will have value so here we have r of t mod square dt plus integration zero to infinity r of t mod square dt here for the negative values of t we have zero value so this term will be zero plus here we have r of t whole square that means so r of t mod square so what will be the value so it will be integration zero to infinity so i forgot to write here a square okay mod of t square so here also we'll have square okay so here we have got in this way we have got t square so similarly here also we'll have t square dt integration t square dt it is t cube by 3 0 to infinity so when t is infinite it is infinity when t is 0 it is 0 okay so it is infinity so energy of the signal is 
infinite average power is equal to infinity and energy is equal to infinity so a ram signal is neither energy signal nor power signal so this is the second property now let us go to our third property so we will find out whether it is even or odd signal so whether a ram signal is even signal or odd signal so how we will know whether a signal is even signal or odd signal so r of t is even if r of t is equal to r of minus t so r of t is odd if r of t equal to minus r of minus t so we have to check for these two properties so what we'll have this is r of t and here we have t now if we find out r of minus t so r of minus t so we have to fold this graph along this y-axis so what will have this r of minus t signal will be this one this r of t signal is not equal to r of minus t okay therefore we have seen r of t not equal to r of minus t so these two signals are not similar okay that's why we have written r of t not equal to r of minus t therefore r of t is not an even signal so it is not an even signal now let us see for r of minus t so if we want to find out minus of r of minus t okay so what we'll have r of minus t is this one so if we find out minus of r of minus t so what we'll have so this signal values will be have a negative value now because we have put a minus here so here we'll have this signal here this angle is 45 degree now if we compare this minus r of minus t to this r of t they are not similar okay they are not same now this minus r of minus t has a value for t less than 0 so this signal and this signal is not similar therefore we can write r of t is not equal to minus of r of minus t therefore r of t is not an odd signal so we have seen this third property that is the ram signal is neither even nor odd signal so these are the three properties of ram signal so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you